and welcome to the update on Georgia Hawkins. The Prime Minister has described the early release of one of the Bali bombers as a slap in the face to victims and their families. Umar Patek is expected to walk free within days, having only served half his 20-year sentence for his role in the 2002 terrorist attack. Anthony Albanese says Australia will be raising concerns with Indonesia. There are thousands of people who've been impacted by this and certainly the Australian government will be conveying uh, diplomatically uh, very clearly our view of this. Improving affordability and choice will be at the centre of a new national electric vehicle strategy. The federal government is partnering with the states and territories to fast-track the transition to low-emission vehicles. Energy Minister Chris Bowen says the introduction of fuel efficiency standards will be considered. While standards must be designed specifically for Australia, standards that lack ambition will leave us at the back of the global queue for longer. We do need to aim for as close to best practice as possible. The presidents of Russia and China will reportedly attend the G20 summit in Bali. Indonesia had been under pressure to withdraw its invitation to Vladimir Putin over his country's invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky has also been invited to the November gathering. Health professionals will be able to book transport for patients to clinics and hospitals via a new Uber service that launched this week. Uber Health allows doctors to book rides and pay for the fare without patients needing to use the app. And Apple has identified a major security flaw which could allow hackers full access to your personal device. It affects iPhones, iPads and Macs, with attackers able to take complete control. Security experts say people should run a software update to reduce the risk. In sport, round 23 of the NRL continues tonight with the Cowboys hosting the Warriors before the Broncos take on the Storm. In AFL, the Swans have named an unchanged lineup to face St Kilda where they can wrap up second place with a win. And Australian Adam Scott is outright second after the first round of the PGA Tour event in Delaware, one shot off the pace. In entertainment news, Travis Barker's horror health run is continuing, the 46-year-old testing positive for COVID. It comes just two months after a stint in hospital for a life-threatening bout of pancreatitis. Travis is currently on tour with Machine Gun Kelly and travelling with wife Courtney Kardashian. No word on whether she too is positive. And J-Lo and Ben Affleck have been seen doing some last-minute shopping with their kids. It comes ahead of their lavish $8 million wedding at Ben's Georgia estate this weekend. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow.